Um, why did we have such a bad year last year in, uh, in at least base metals? A couple of reasons. Global growth outside of the U.S. was slowing. That, that's probably the main macro theme. Everyone was slowing quite sharply except for the U.S. economy. And of course, <clears throat> China, which, uh, uh, which produces and consumes 50% of all the metals, both non-ferrous and, and ferrous, was really uh, slowing down quite aggressively over 2018. So that didn't help. And of course, uh, at the start of the year, uh, people were very concerned about the overall supply demand <clears throat> uh, picture in metals. Uh, as the year wore on, uh, we realized that the deficits aren't going to be as large as people were thinking going into the year. It, it, they, gradually, uh, they gradually loosened up, so that helped in terms of the fundamentals. And of course, uh, the macro side, uh, was a headwind, uh, the fact that U.S. rates uh, rose four times last year, another five times in, in previous years. So we've had nine rate increases over the past several years, just as other central banks were also getting a bit tighter. So you had uh, the Bank of England raising rates, uh, Bank of Canada, the ECB and the Bank of Japan were the, were the two ones that that were relatively easy throughout the year. And of course, last but not least, tariffs. This really, I think, uh, killed, killed the commodity market uh, lock, stock, and barrel starting in March, April, uh, which is when uh, the trade wars with China really, uh, really heated up. But the macro indicator we watch most closely are these uh, global manufacturing PMIs. Various people have